Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to add a box shadow to a card-like element. A box shadow property applies uh, one or more shadows to an element. The box shadow property takes values offset X, how far to push the shadow horizontally from the element, and offset Y, how much to push it vertically from the element, uh, blur radius, spread radius, and a color uh, value in that order. So they do it in the order. So um, offset X, offset Y, uh, blur radius, spread radius, um, if that makes sense. I'm highlighting this as I go to uh, do that. Um, here's an example of the CSS uh, to create multiple shadows with blur, with some blur at mostly transparent black colors. Hmm. The element now has an ID of thumbnail. Thumbnail. Okay, so if we look into the HTML, we're looking for an ID of thumbnail. Okay, this is this. And um, it's actually the whole thing. So this entire thing is the element of thumbnail. You see how this div right here, can, it, it relates to this one. This is another div, 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 div. And you've got this whole block. So what we're trying to do is add a shadow onto the outside corner of this box. Uh, with this selector, use the example CSS values above to place a box shadow on the card. Okay, so the selector is here. We've got the ID. Now, IDs are not like classes. Class, full card. Class, and when you have classes, you have periods, right? And when you have IDs, you have uh, pounds, which makes no sense. But basically, <laughs> you're going to have to just remember that one. So your thumbnail. Interesting, they haven't written it in here. This is probably a challenging one. So the thumbnail is going to be a pound. And then you go uh, thumbnail. And then, uh, as normal with your thing, you just like the classes, you're going to create a space. This is basically just to make your code look pretty. And then you're going to write, put enter in there. And so within this thumbnail, we're going to write our code. And now, so what do we want? We want the element now has a thumbnail. With the selector, use the example CSS values above, meaning use this CSS value um, on the card. And so I guess we're just going to copy and paste this in here. Uh, this is a long bit of code to type in there. Oh, look, and now the thumbnail has created this beautiful shadow that they've generated here with this long uh, string of text. This is a bit of a wacky tutorial. Uh, let's run it, see how it works. Okay, it passed. I imagine this is a bit of a challenging one because you actually have to write in a new class selector or you need, you know, instead of using class selectors, you're using an ID selector. I bet this is a really challenging one for new people because <clears throat> the difference between class and ID is something that wasn't really laid out especially closely earlier in the tutorials. And so with the class, you use a period and with the ID, you use a pound. Um, so thumbnail with a pound, it works. Uh, and then you just copy and paste this long kind of weird box shadow CSS uh, selector. This is something that you see in production, but it's not close of mind for everyone. Like uh, nobody that I know would be able to just write this from scratch knowing box shadow CSS by uh, from the top of their hand. So um, the important thing is just to remember how this works. You've got your class, your full card. Um, you know, with full card, we could uh, change the width of this to make it like 345, and that would like stretch the box out. Obviously, don't want to keep that, but we know how to adjust these things. Um, you know, the border, we can make the border super fat. If we made it 12, this thing's going to get super fat. Uh, this is how you adjust CSS. And so uh, with class selectors, full card meets the period. Class, classes have periods. IDs have pounds. Now, the ID have pounds doesn't work, but what you remember when you were in middle school that your class, you had periods. So I hope this, this is helpful. Um, yeah, the test pass. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if it was useful and it got you out of a tight spot, uh, that's especially good. And I'm glad to be of service. Okay, see you in the next video.